Okay, math theory dash two logical reasoning and set theory lesson number seven, number six practice test. These videos are for study purposes only. I try my best to minimize mistakes, but it will happen. I try to show and explain most of my steps. These videos might be long, but hopefully they will be helpful. Okay, which of the following is a correct negation? Every father has a daughter. So the correct negation is. Now you just go directly. So. Uh, so you just say put a no in front, right? Not every father has a daughter. So one is B. Two. If this and if A is this, B is this, what is A union B? So A union B, that means you're combining all the elements of, this, of set A and set B. So you're just putting them in together. If there are any du duplicates, them, duplicates, you remove them. So three, five, six, seven, nine, eight, nine, ten. Two is D. P is uh, 2, 4, 8, 16. Q is factor of, of 6. So 1, 2, 3, 6. And R is 4, 8, 12, 16. Which of these two sets are disjoint? Disjoint means there are no overlaps. So P and Q has uh, two overlap. P and R have four overlap. Q and R has a one, two, three, six, nothing overlap. So three is C. Intersection means I only want the common element. So M and N, two, M doesn't have two, so no two. Three is in both, so three is one of them. Five is in both of them, and that's it. Seven is only one. So the intersection is three and five. Okay. The number of elements that are not in N. So N have three elements, and in in the universe there is th there is nine elements. So number of elements in N is equal to three. Therefore, the number of elements that are not in three is six. Nine minus three is equal to six. Okay, which of the following statement is false? So P says. Parallelograms are all quadrilaterals, which is true because all parallelograms have four sides. All rectangles are parallelograms. This is true because rectangle is just a special parallelogram where all the angles are 90 degrees. Parallelograms are rectangles. This is incorrect because parallelograms doesn't have to have all the angles is equal to 90 degrees, where rectangles is a more special parallelogram. It has all the angles equal to 90 degrees. Okay, squares are rectangles, which is correct, and rectangles are quadrilaterals, which have four sides, which is also correct. So five is C. Okay, so A or B means A union B, okay? So what are factors of 16? It is a 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. What are factors of 8? 1, 2, 4, 8. Okay, what is A or B? Well, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. So 6 is D. 7, what is A intersect B intersect C? So how many elements are in uh, of A, B, and C? So what are even numbers less than 10? Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, less than 10, that's it. Okay, so 2 are in all of these, uh, these things. 4 is in all of them. 8 is in all of them. And that's it. So how many elements are these? 3. 7 is B. 8. In the universal set of natural numbers, what is a complement of multiples, multiples of 3? So complement of multiples three is not multiples of three. So that includes one, two, then four, five, then seven, eight, etc. Which is D. Nine. X, Y, Z are subsets of U. 
the shade error represents. So I want X to X to intersect with not Y or Z. Not Y or Z. Yeah, so the answer is A, but we can just uh, try to shade them out, okay? So Y union Z, this, this is Y, this is Z. Not Y union Z means everything but Y or Z. So that is this area right here. Okay, so now I want X to intersect with this. So where are the overlaps between the shaded area and X? Well, it is this area right here. So A is correct. Can just do the other one as well. Y intersect Z. Well, Y intersect Z. This is zero, right? And so because there is nothing in common. And if I want the opposite of nothing, that means it is everything. So Y intercept Z prime is everything, and then X intercept this would just be a full X like that. So this is not correct. This one, y intersect z, well, uh, it's just nothing. x union nothing is still x, so which cannot be correct. Now, y union z prime, so that means it is this whole thing, right? And then when x you union with x, it becomes this whole thing. So the only part that are not included is items that are not that are only in Y, but not in X, and only in Z, but not in X. So the only one that's correct is A. Okay, what is the area shaded, shaded area represent? So uh, usually you say as C. Okay, so not A and not B will give you this area on the outside right here, okay? So this cannot be correct. Not A or not B will give you this area right here. Not A and not B, which is this area outside, and C. So that means it is only this area because that is the only overlap between this and C, which gives you this. So C is correct. Now, what is uh, not A, not B, or C? So not A, not B, it is this part right here. Not A or not B, that is this part. Or C, now it includes C. So they, it, oops, it includes uh, all C as well. So the only part that's not included is this small section right here. So 10 is C. Do, 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 do. Okay, six Venn diagrams, which of the relationships are there? Not P, so that means everything that's not in P, so that is four. P intersect not Q, so what is not Q? Well, not Q is everything that's not in Q, right? And then P intersects it, so that means it is this one right here, two. P Union Q, what is P union Q? Uh, that is all of P and all of Q, so everything inside the circles are shaded, but there is a prime, so that instead of shading the inside, we only shade the outside. So uh, that's six. P inter, not P intersect not Q. So what is not P? Not P is this part. Oops, not P is this part. Okay, so the middle and all of P is not shaded. And then what is not Q? Not Q, it is everything but Q is shaded. So what is a common between these two? Uh, six is also the answer because of De Morgan's law. Okay, the so set P is equal to prime numbers less than or equal to 12. Uh, which is 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. 
f is factors of 12, which is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. A subset, our subset of universal set, u, which are all the numbers from 1 to 12. A student represents a set in Venn diagrams below. Uh, okay, so there are two misplaced digits. So let's see what is common, okay? So two is common and three is common. So that means two should be on inside. Okay, what is, so two and three are getting rid of. So now, uh, what are P, five, seven, 11? Okay, all good. What are F, one, four, six, 12? So I need a one here, four, six, 12. And what are not in any of them? Uh, well, uh, eight, nine, 10. Okay, so one and two are misplaced. So the answer is one, two. Use the following information to answer the next four questions. Many of the grade 12 students in the high school specializing in fine arts are enrolled in concert band and or music. Number of students enrolled in the courses are shown right here. Okay, I'm not reading all that. The number of students in a universal set is. So let's draw a Venn diagram because that's typically how you solve these questions. Okay, so this is a concert band music. Okay, concert band only, 41. Music only, 37. Concert, oops, music only, 37. Concert band and music, 22. Neither course, 16. So we're gonna add everything up. 41 plus 22 plus 37 plus 16, 116. 11 is A. The number of students enrolled in music is, so music, 22 plus 37, 59. Then our student enrolled in music or concert band, that is a universal set, minus 16, so 116 minus 16 is 100. Or we can add 41, 22, and 37 together. Up to you. So now we're all student not enrolled in concert band, so that includes 37 and 16 only. So 37, oops, 37 plus 16 is equal to uh, 53. Okay, use the following information to answer the next questions. The number of set contains no element has one subset, the empty set. The set A contains one element and has two subsets, empty set and A. The subset of AB contains two elements and has four subsets, this. So we can see if they have uh, n elements, so if this, if a set has n elements, then how many, uh, how many subsets does it have? It have two to the power of n subs subsets. Okay, so two to the power of three is equal to eight. 14 is C or I should say this is two to the power of zero, two to the power of one, and two to the power of two, which is to uh, one, two, and four. How many subsets are in two, four, six, eight things? Two to the power of eight is 256. All the grade 11 students at a local sports school were surveyed about which fitness activity they would like to get taken in grade 12. Okay, again, Venn diagram, weight training, cross country. Weight training and cross country, that means the middle is 13. 34 minus 13 means only weight training, which is equal to 21. 39 minus 13, that means only cross country, which is equal to 26. Another course, 28 on the outside. Add everything up. Okay, 21 plus 13 plus 26 plus 28. 88 students in total, 15 is B. Uh, 16, the number of students who did not like to take cross country 
is so that means things are not in cross country so 21 plus 28 uh, 49 16 is C the narrow students would like to take weight training or cross country so either add these three up or do the universal set minus 28 so 88 minus 28 is equal to 60 if a universal set is a set of negative integers and s is a set such as as x is greater than negative 2 then what are not in this so universal set of negative integers so we have negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 dot, 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 dot okay then set s is equal to s is greater than uh, negative 2 so which one of these are greater than negative 2 well only this neg negative 1 is greater than negative 2 so what is this set that is not in s well that means x must be smaller than or equal to negative 2 so 18 is b Blah, blah, blah. Next three questions. Okay. Students in a class were told to consider a set of all natural numbers up to and including 25. They were presented with the following subsets. And what is a universal set? It says could be. So that is pretty interesting. So it uh, looks like I am going up to 25, but I'm not including 0. And there is no 0 here. So I guess I can. Oh, natural numbers up and including 25. In this textbook, natural number does not include zero. So natural numbers that are, are uh, up to and including 25. So from one to 25, 19 is A. Okay, so now what is Q? So we know Q has, uh, has eight and 20, right? And then we try to get rid of anything that is in, in P but not in Q. So we get rid of 2, 3, don't get rid of 8 because we know Q have 8 in there. 13, 17, don't get rid of 20, then 23. So Q is equal to 1, 5, 7, 8, 12, 18, 20. Twenty is going to be D. Now, Dieter made the following statements. Uh, blah blah blah. P intersect R has no elements. So fifty-five, ten, fifteen, twenty-five. So it looks like it has no elements. No elements is true. So we write eight. R is not a subset of P. What is P? Yeah, 5 exists in R but not exists in P, so R is not a subset of P. It is true, so we put down 8. P and R are disjoint, so that means there are no common elements between P and R. 5, 10, 15, 25, 5, 10, 15, 25, which is correct because there are no elements that are in common for both of them. P intersect Q intersect R naught. So P intersect Q is equal to uh, 8 and 20, right? And then what are in not in R? So both 8 and 20 are in R, are in not R. Both of them are in not R. 
because they're not in R, so they're in not R. So therefore, this entire thing has two elements. It cannot, this is equal to eight comma uh, 20, okay? It doesn't have zero elements, it has two elements. So it cannot be right, it is wrong, nine. Uh, blah, blah, extensions, okay. The converse of the statement, if the sky is blue, then there are no clouds. So what is the converse of this? Uh, so if A, then B, the converse is if B, then A. So if there are no clouds, then the sky is blue. If there are no clouds and the sky is blue, 21 is B. The statement whose meaning is equivalent to A is a subset of B is. So if A is an element of A, then A is an element of B. Yeah. A is an element of A if and only if A is an element of B. This is not correct because that just means uh, every element in B is an element of A. If A is an element of B, then A is an element of A. This is not correct because this is like B is a subset. Oh, B is a subset of A. It's reversed. So this is not right. If A is an element of B, then A is not in A. So let's say if some element is in A, it needs to be in B. But if any element in B cannot be in A, that means it is disjoint instead. So the answer is A. Okay, consider the following statements. We'll party if and only if it does not rain. So party and no rain, it must be both true or both false. If it is raining, then it means not snow. Okay? If Jack is sick, we'll not have a party. So, Jack sick means no party. Okay, people are having party. Okay, so people are having their party. That means, uh, <coughs> so if it rains, then it means no party. So it, if it rains, then we cannot have a party because it is an if and only if statement. So no rain means party. This is not correct. It is snowing. Uh, if it's raining, then it's not snowing. Uh, this doesn't have to be true because I don't care if it's snowing because if it's snow, it still can, they still can party. Okay, Jack is sick means no party. And because we are having a party, that means Jack is not sick. So the only one that's correct is Jack is not sick, and 23 is C. Concerning the uh, conditional statement, if the quadrilateral have equal sides, then it is a square. Okay, what is the conditional statement? This is a conditional statement. What is the converse uh, if it is a square? If square, then quadrilateral equals sides. Then it's a quad with equal sides. What is the uh, contrapositive? Contrapositive. Uh, if it is not a square, if not square, then not with equal side. <coughs> okay, so the converse So if a statement is true, the converse can either be true or false. 
if a statement is true or false, the contrapositive statement must have the same truth value. So if a quadrilateral are equal sides, then it is a square. This statement is false because a rhombus can also have uh, equal sides. Okay, so something like this. So, and then because the conditional statement is false, then the contrapositive statement must also be false, okay? So both a converse statement, okay, then what is a converse? If it is a, so this contrapositive is false, this is false, but a converse, if, if it is squared in the quadratic with equal sides, this is true. So uh, this is wrong, converse of the statement but now the counterpositive is true. Uh, looks like this is a one. Yeah, so converse is true, but counterpositive is not. Counterpositive is true, but converse is false. It's not true, that's false. Both converse and the counterpositive are true, that's not correct, so 24 is B. Okay, keep going. He's a following blah, 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 blah. Holy, this question is long. Okay, 105 students completed a survey, but 10 did not put a check mark in any of the three categories. So that means 10 is outside everything, and then uh, the universal set is 105. Okay, the results of the survey can be represented by the one shown, eight non-overlapping, uh, can be marked in the diagram. What is the uh, uh, so describing words? What each region is? Okay, let's do it. Uh, how do I erase this? Why is this one so small? There we go. Okay, one hundred five. So what is region one? Uh, likes MSA. All MSA. So they like everything. Region two. So likes M and S. All MSA. Likes M and S, but not A. What is region V? Likes A but not M or S. What number should place in region eight? 10, because there are 10 people that did not place a check mark in any of these. Okay, so now let's uh, Take a look at this diagram and figure out what each of these numbers are. Okay, so 64 is M, uh, 61 is S, this is A, then 37, 25, 16 are the three things combined, okay? Since the number of students enjoy reading all three type of books is not given, they place an X, represents an unknown value. Why region two can be represented by 37 minus, minus X? Well, 37 is equal to, uh, well, 37 is equal to one plus two. Therefore, and one is X. So that means two is equal to 37 minus I, which is equal to uh, 37 minus X. Okay, so I, I is uh, 37 minus X. Okay, what is M and A? M and A is 25 minus X. What is S and A? 26 minus X.
Okay, mass in those 42 students are placed in circle A. Use this information to write a simplified expression for a student in region B. Okay, so V is on the bottom here. Therefore, it is 42 minus 25 minus X minus X minus 26 minus X, which is 42 minus 25 minus 26 plus 2x minus x, which is equal to 2x uh, minus 9. Don't forget the outside is 10. And what is m? m is equal to, uh, sorry, not m, vi is equal to 64 minus 37 minus x minus x minus 25 minus x which is equal to 64 minus 37 minus 25 plus x which is equal to uh, x plus 2. What is uh, this section, VII? Okay, let's see. VII is equal to S61. 61 minus 37 minus X. Uh, minus X minus 26 minus X. 61 minus 37 minus 26 plus x. So we get x minus 2. Okay, so if we add everything here up, what do we get? We get, so add everything up, which is equal 105 is equal to x plus 2. Uh, so positive x, I'll just uh, cancel some things out here. Okay, so negative x, positive x, negative x, positive x, negative x, positive x, just uh, 2 plus 37 plus 25 plus 26 uh, minus 2 minus 9 and then plus x. And don't forget the 10 on the outside, plus 10. Okay, so So I get uh, 89 plus x is equal to 105. So trap both sides by 89, x is equal to 16. Wow, that was so small. Okay, that is math theory dash true logical reasoning and set theory. Lesson number six, practice test. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, goodbye.